Yo, what is up guys, Anthony here back with another Destiny Child video here on the channel. And in today's video, we're going to be testing my average damage against the World Boss Trials Season 18 event, Miracala, of course. So we'll be testing out my team and hopefully doing a decent amount of damage in today's video considering I do have fully ignited gunslinger builder. So I'm expecting to deal a decent amount of damage in today's run as she is one of my top attackers that are fully ignited. Now we are on the 29th boss currently as of filming this video so we'll be using this boss for a test run and overviewing our team beforehand. So as you can see, we do have the team up on the screen right now. We do have the front and back row, which we'll be going over briefly. Of course, I did follow the team guide we did overview on the channel recently. So if you guys haven't seen the team guide overview, I'll be sure to leave a link to it in the description box below. And of course, in the top right hand card of this video screen right now. But we do have the team here. Front row starting off with Sun Beach Mona plus 6, Pantheon plus 6, Battery here plus 6, Lewin plus 6, Thetis plus 6, Navi plus 6, Fluttering Citri fully ignited plus 6, Newbie Mona here plus 6, Fispy plus 6 fully ignited, Midas here plus 6, S40 back row here we do have Dark Type Davi plus 4. For my attackers we do have Frozen Gale Aria plus 2. Next up we do have Laura at a plus 1, Gunslinger Hilder plus 6 fully ignited. Moving on to our supporters and the remainder of light type units we do have saturn at a plus six citri at a plus six one star ignited mona here at a plus six oracle werewolf at a plus six one star ignited nitri here plus five and mods here plus six so overall a decent team as for the leader skill i have been running i've been testing things out and laura seems to be doing the best you can either go with laura or you can also go with the nitri leader skill as well some people have also been using aria to take advantage of the slide skill plus damage but overall most do seem to be using laura or nitri as for the tap and slide order of my roster we do have sun beach mona on a slide Pantheon slide, battery slide, Lewin slide, Thetis slide, tap, slide, 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 Navi slide, Citri slide, Nubi Mona slide, Thispy slide, tap, Midas slide, Davi slide, Arya no skill order, Laura tap, slide, slide, Gunslinger Hilder slide, Saturn slide, Citri slide, Mona slide, Oracle Werewolf tap, slide, Nitri tap slide and Mott slide. As for the drive order, we do have a drive order of Sun Beach Mona first. Next up, we do have Orc Werewolf and leading into a Saturn drive. As for my equipment, nothing too amazing on the equips for my units, but you guys can check them out here directly below. Of course, we do have them all on the screen for my units. So if you guys were just wondering, I do toss on whatever I can. I don't have a ton of top tier equips for all of my units. Hopefully I can get lucky in the Devil Rumble shop and obtain more copies of the Alchemist gloves, etc. But there are my equips for the light type units. I did have its filter, so let's go through it once more with the other units. We do have Citri here as well. This B, of course, I do use some of these units for PvP, so they do have some top tier equips on them already. But for the world boss units, they do have some niche ones, but it does seem to work out decently. I do actually.
40 to 50 million with the team comp I do have right now and my peak overall is at a 54 million and if I do have a screenshot I'll toss it up on the screen as well now for the battle stats here we do have of course sniper hilder dealing the most damage at a 21.5 million we also do have laura 4 million and aria at a 3 million status now hopefully i can manage to obtain some more uncaps of these units before the event does end so i can increase my damage a bit as before i was running best sets in the place of laura and the damage was significantly higher but of course i did have to toss in laura for the boost function of course she does have a 60 percent boost at base as for damage taken we of course do have a ton of damage being dealt to our units due to the death heal i believe Bathory was one of the units that did die as well so hp received nothing too significant of course Bathory did have to heal a ton and hp given of course modulating the charts there but overall a decent amount of damage considering i do have hilder fully ignited hopefully i can manage to get some of the kinks worked out and manage to deal 40 to 45 million damage consistently and have no units die now if you guys do have any tips for myself be sure to leave them in the comment section below i do love reading all of the tips you guys do provide during world boss trials and such you guys do actually bring a ton of help to my roster and if you guys do need any help with your team make sure to leave any questions in the comment section below as well of course i'm always looking to help you guys out and of course if you guys do need help with your roster i'll be sure to have the link to the team guide in the description box below all right everyone so that'll do it for today's destiny child video and of course our average damage run here on the channel for the world boss miracala event make sure to tell me know in the comment section below how much damage you are dealing normally on the world boss trial of now and of course make sure to let me know what kind of team comp you are running but anyways if you did enjoy today's destiny child video make sure to leave a like on this one and of course if you haven't yet done so already make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are enjoying the destiny child content and of course would like to be notified for more of the videos here on the channel now with all of that being said i'll see you all in the next destiny child video as always thank you all so much for watching